Hello YouTube, today I will be talking about Puyo Puyo La. The first Puyo Puyo game that I have ever played was on the Nintendo 64, Puyo Puyo San, which was the third game in the puzzle game series. I knew that this game existed before, but I never took a look at it because I never had a Dreamcast. But now I played it, so let me talk about what I think about this game and what it's about. Puyo Puyo Da is a Dreamcast rhythm game released by SEGA and developed by Compile in 1999. An arcade version of the game was released 10 days later. As you can probably tell by the name, it features 7 characters from the Puyo Puyo series. These guys. But where the heck is Carbuncle? That's like not having Pikachu on Pokemon, or Kero-chan in Sakura Cardcaptor, Iggy in Jojo, Morgana, eh, well, okay, that was enough. Another character that was not from the Puyo Puyo series was added, that I will talk about later. The game plays very similar to Beat Mania, or a more well-known game in the States, Harappa the Rapper, where the player has to press the correct buttons that appear on the two bars on the bottom of the screen in the correct timing with the music. The player gets a game over when he or she misses too many commands in the song, just like other rhythm games. By executing combos, the player sends in Puyos to the opponent, much like the regular Puyo Puyo series, but this and the characters are the only similarities to Puyo Puyo. The music in this game is a weird mix of the late 90s J-pop and electronic music. They are mostly remixes from other Puyo Puyo games or music from TV commercials. So if you are like the most American players who have missed out on the older unlocalized Puyo Puyo games, they will not mean much. Taking that into consideration, and even for the fans of the Puyo Puyo series like myself, the music is anything but stellar. The sales point of the game at release, other than the music, was the 3D graphics, which was something new for the Puyo Puyo characters, but as you can see, it doesn't impress very much. Although the characters have different clothes and they were redesigned, I must ask, what were they thinking? One of the most charming parts of the character design, I think, was that they were in 2D. I doubt that many fans wanted to see their favorite characters in 3D, especially if they're gonna be moving like this. Going back to the character I mentioned that was not from Puyo Puyo, she has her own game called Broadway Legend Elena which was a memorization game similar to the minigame in Pokemon Stadium with Clefairy. The player has to memorize the button presses of Elena's teacher and rivals using up, down, left, right, and the jump keys.
The game released on the Disk Station No. 4 issue on a floppy disk for PC-98 and was released on the last Disk Station magazine as one of the compilation titles in 2015. These were magazines that were published up until the early 2000s until the re-release in 2015 and they came with a MSX or PC game or sometimes a demo mostly from Compile. In the end, I feel like this game was just a filler game to bring in fans of the franchise but could have been much better. Better and more music or better graphics would have helped a lot. But seeing that this was one year after Sega took over Compile after going bankrupt, so it's no surprise that there were some changes being made to the franchise. Four years after this game came out, Puyo Puyo Fever, a remade version of the Puyo Puyo series with new characters and art style, was released, marking the end of the original Puyo Puyo series. So that was it for today. Thank you very much for watching and let me know if you played this game before and what you thought of it. Since this is a rhythm game, even if you don't understand Japanese very well, you should be able to play it. But as I said before, if you want to play some rhythm games on Dreamcast, there are better options out there. But if you like the Puyo Puyo series or if you're curious, give it a shot. It's kind of a fun game to play, especially if you know the characters. If not, you might be able to get some enjoyment out of it for like maybe 30 minutes and get tired of it pretty quick. Anyways, thank you very much for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And see you next time. Bye bye.